Hi, I'm Mike Kelly. You're watching Live Trades TV. We're joined again by veteran trader Anthony Verdone. Anthony, welcome back. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me. Uh, so we're really going to talk about our featured stock of the week this week, which is Vuzix, ticker V-U-Z-I. They're a leading supplier of smart glasses, augmented reality technologies, and products for the consumer and enterprise markets. And we interviewed their CEO again, um, last week, Paul Travers, and we've spoken with him several times over the last uh, year. And so he provided us with some updates. Uh, and so you can watch that video on, on Live Trades TV under company interviews. Uh, so we want to talk to you, Anthony, today, kind of get a trader's perspective on, on Vuzix and, and really the uh, augmented reality space in general, which is becoming uh, a lot more prominent now as it's being adopted by more and more businesses and as Apple just released this iPhone X, which has uh, an AR developer kit and AR kind of baked into it. So uh, what do you think? First about Vuzix and then uh, about AR. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll go uh, opposite there. Um, I, I really like the products uh, that they're offering. Very, uh, very cool, sophisticated, uh, state-of-the-art, um, you know, augmented reality that they're, that they're using. Uh, very cool that people can go out in uh, in the work field and the guys in the office can see uh, what they're doing and, and help them solve problems um, not being on site but seeing everything that that um, guy or gal is seeing there um, at the location uh, that they're at so I really like their products and um, you know the chart here is, is starting to shape up as well uh, you know, we, we are we are still chopping around, but um, what I did like to see is a break over the declining trend line. I use weekly time frames, so you can see that we just got our first close here um, over the 20-week moving average, which is a good sign and big volume. Uh, so what I'm looking for is a continuation. And if you remember in the past, if anybody watched our videos, I like this stock anywhere over six bucks. And um, you know, we're trading back at 650. We did break below that six dollar mark, and um, traded down there for uh, quite a few weeks. And now uh, we're getting some big, big volume back to the upside, uh, back over the $6 mark. So I believe this company um, is poised to show some big growth if uh, they can uh, produce and get some contracts signed here uh, within the next um, you know, two quarters, three quarters uh, of 2018. Uh, I believe you can see you know, probably an eight to $10 stop. And they are going to be demoing their uh, Blade, which is their consumer AR product. And that won several awards at uh, the Consumer Electronics Show for CES. So they've got that. And they also have been converting more of these um, M300 pilot projects into um, actual customers. So they have mentioned uh, 25,000 M300 units for 2018. Um, and they have some other programs. They have uh, an upcoming deal with Toshiba where they're going to be making a, a customized version of smart glasses for, for them, which is right around the corner. So a, a lot of positive things going on for this company and um, growth in the AR space in general is anticipated to get stronger in, in the next couple of years as it's really gone mainstream for commercial applications and is becoming more of a mainstream thing for consumers. In fact, some suppliers have even talked about the possibility that Apple themselves is going to be is working on an, a pair of some augmented reality smart glasses and maybe releasing something in the next two to three years. So, um, you know, music seems to be ahead of the game on several fronts. Um, any any other thoughts on them before we move on? No, I, I remember um, back when we were uh, talking to Paul uh, before. Uh, you know, they had a lot of partnerships going on, which which is a good sign. You know, that there's different people trying out their products and. The products are state of the art, uh, whether you're using it for recreation or you're using it for business. Uh, so it's one stock that I, I love to follow, um, and uh, we'll continue to do so here in uh, the next few quarters ahead. And, and I am anticipating uh, the stock price uh, definitely moving its way higher. And just in as uh, in closing on on Vuzix, I just want to mention Goldman Sachs did uh, project that annual revenue in the global VR AR market will hit 80 billion by 2025. And then uh, another report from Juniper Research said that by 2021, one out of every 10 wearable devices will be smart glasses. And revenue from these products is forecast to increase from 327 million dollars this year to around 9 billion in 2021, which is a huge jump. So um, that's something you know. To, to keep an eye on are, are you know some of these up and coming companies whose technology and, and Vuzix also has a lot of uh, IP. They just announced their patent growth had, it was like something like 53% over the last year. Um, 
they've got over well what's, what's the exact number here yeah they have over a uh, hundred patents and patent pendings in um, augmented reality technology so that's another important thing to note all right, Anthony. Well, that's it for uh, this week's day, this week's pick. Vuzix ticker VUZI. You can learn more about them by visiting their website at www.vuzix.com. Uh, Anthony, thanks for your insights as always, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Sounds good, Mike. Thanks, and thanks everyone for watching Live Trades TV.